before it, we're nearly there. Hello and welcome everyone to Fender Play Live. I'm your host, Scott Kolbaum. This week in celebration of the July 4th holiday and the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, we're bringing you a Fender Play All-American episode. Now I'm joined by my special guest, Abby Lyons. Hey everybody. And we've got some classic American songs to play through, but first let's talk about an exciting contest from Fender. We've teamed up with Louisville Slugger to create a custom bat and custom guitar for the upcoming MLB All-Star Game. Now you can win your very own set of both by posting your own rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Just use the hashtag, hashtag PlayLoudContest and tag Fender by July 14th. This guitar is not going to be sold anywhere. I don't know anything about the bats, but this guitar, which I believe is a Stratocaster, is not going to be sold anywhere. Um, in the meantime, let's talk about Abby here. We're so happy to have you. She's one of our favorite instructors. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinarily endearing, her, her voice melts people's hearts, and she's got a, re, got a huge following on YouTube as an artist, mm -hmm. so it's really great to have you with us in, <laughs> in more than one capacity today. How you doing? I'm great. I'm good. Fourth of July is my favorite holiday, so this is super fun. Okay, so I'm going to marry the fact that you said this is your favorite holiday with what I overheard a little earlier, which is when you were asked, what are you doing for your favorite holiday? Oh, yeah. You had a one-word answer. It was just mm -hmm. waffle. <laughs> what does that even mean? I got invited to a waffle party, and right. I had nothing else to do, so... I said yes. America, <laughs> love that. Well, if you guys need a little bit of help, because what we're going to be doing is encouraging you guys, like I said, to do your own rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, we can play a couple versions real quick. We've got Abby with her voice, her instrument. Can we play through a little one really fast? Is that cool? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's try it out. Cool. <laughs> Follow your lead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take me out to the ball. The surgeons just put auto-tune in your <laughs> trachea. That was really beautiful. I don't know how singing works. Um, now, there's a really weird fun fact about that song. Yeah. I'm going to let yeah. you take this one because sure. I thought it was really funny. Fun fact, this song was written in 1908 by two people who have never been to a baseball game. So it's kind of just about like this fantasy virtual reality baseball game. Yeah, right? even then. <laughs> They're just kind of explaining to themselves, okay, so you take out yourself to the ball game and what do you, one strike means two, two okay, then you're out. It's just pretty self-explanatory after a while. In fact, rumor has it that this song was first performed at a high school out here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just making it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what we really do here with Fender is, is try to make it a point to show you guys a wealth of ways of playing this. Now, now this song is going to be coming to our platform pretty soon, but with any song, make this your own. If you're trying to do like a jazz interpretation of this, especially when it comes to submitting for this contest, throw some major sevenths and minor chords or minor sevenths on those root notes like... Take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. It's really funny to situate those <laughs> lyrics into that chord progression. Yeah. Or if like uh, you want to convert it to some power chords and get like some punk or rock edge to it. Have fun. I'm Make it your own. Do a rap version. Okay, so <laughs> on the spot to the next slide, teleprompter reads, if you want to check out yet another version of this classic, make it a point to tune into the All-Star Game to see our friends, uh, friends of Fender here, the Baseball Project play, and keep an eye out for the Fender Play lesson, like I was saying, that is coming soon. Now, Abby, while we've got you here, we've got a couple of American classics we're going to tackle today, all of which are currently available on our Fender Play uh, lesson platform. Mm -hmm. Can we get you to play another one? Of them. Uh, sure. We're looking at America the Beautiful as one of our first of three. Yeah, let's 
do it. All right, lead the uh, way. This one's also in G. I'll follow, okay, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> America the Beautiful performed beautifully by our very own Abby Lyons. That was really great. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. Uh, and Abby's tackling that on the ukulele. Try it on the acoustic, try it on a clean strat, whatever, uh, whatever's in your instrument arsenal. Make it a point to try it out. That's readily available for you guys on our Fender Play platform. Uh, give it up one more time for Abby Lyons joining us. You can find all of her stuff online too. She's an amazing artist. We're lucky to have her as a teacher. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a couple more things for you. Let's go to Nashville for a special message from Tyler Bryant about the Play Loud contest. Check it out. Yo, it's Tyler from Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown. When I think of the electric guitar, I think of the Fender Strat. And when I think about baseball, which rarely happens, I think about the Louisville Slugger. Fender and Louisville Slugger have teamed up with each other and asked me to take a stab at this classic. You might know it. Take me out to the ball game. Never thought I'd play this song. But we want to hear you play it, so set up your phone, set up your camera, and uh, let her rip. This is how I'm feeling it. <laughs> Check out the link in the con rather check out our link for more contest details. It's a really cool one. It's got a pretty promising GIF. So uh, send us your best version. We want to see it. In the meantime, please welcome my next guest, the one and only Sebastian Betley. Right. Give it up for Sebastian. Yeah. Uh, not only is he one of our favorite new instructors, kind of leaning into the hard rock edge of things in our uh, curriculum. That's it. Bring it. But Sebastian's also uh, the lead guitarist for one of our LA-based uh, bands, New Language. I know you guys have been on the road with The Used. You guys have been on the road with Papa Roach. You're releasing a forthcoming album really soon. So yes, thanks for uh, wearing those hats out there and, and this bandana in here. Absolutely. You exude America right now. I, I mean, I woke up like this today. So, wow, you know, brother. Yeah, it's, just... it's effortless for you. I, I made it a point to like, put together hipster shades of America, but, uh, yeah, yeah. but this is what we landed on. In any case, guys, we're going to jump into another American tune that is available on Fender Play for y'all. Um, it's a bit newer to our repertoire, but it comes right out of the mid-1980s from the one and only Night Ranger. Night Ranger. And this is called You Can Still Rock in America. You Can Still Rock in America, Americans. Uh, let's play a little bit of it. Right, is that yeah. cool? Give yeah, a taste of it. I'll, I'll start us right. up. Is that, right. good? is that where we're at? Cool. Tomorrow's Barbecue. I'm going to listen to that at least four consecutive times. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is a song that's great for power chords. We're using a lot of cool triads up on the neck. The stuff you saw me doing, just that... It's going to be yeah. all covered there. In fact, when you were doing it too, I liked the effects that was coming through. Can I hear a little bit of what you're doing? Totally. Yeah, man. I got a... 
So what I try to do there, um, I always try to get like a, a Marshall style, a British, uh, a British style head happening with a little bit of crunch. Yeah. Um, but I always try, rather than relying on my amp for all the distortion and really cranking that up, because that can get a little uncontrolled, a little fizzly, like you can have some feedback issues and things like that, right. especially with single coils. Um, I prefer to put a little bit of overdrive in front of that crunchy amp right. so you can take it from a place that's really tight sounding, you know, for a rhythm guitar type of thing, um, you know, something around here. Sure, sure. You know, and, space, all right. And then when you crank it up a bit, you can... Hear that sustain. Yeah, you hear that sustain, yeah, all right, yeah. you know, play yeah. one, go away, have a bite. There it is. To... Oh, there it is. What does that you sound know? like just by itself for a second? Yeah, there. Wow, man. Yeah, guys, tune into that. That's What's great about this song, too, it's, it's pretty loaded. For those of you guys who, like, as far as uh, material is concerned, you've got about four different sections that we cover in this song. For those of you who aren't familiar with our Fender Play uh, platform, for all of our students out there, you guys are probably aware of this. The way we dictate difficulty on the songs is by pick level. So if it's uh, pick level one, it's a little bit more accessible for beginners. Pick level two, which this one is, it's something that has a little bit more to it. And then pick level three is for advanced players. But in the meantime, we've also got a couple of uh, moments in the song that are celebrated vocally. That whole, you can still rock in America. Guy. You're seeing we're playing a bunch of open chords, pretty accessible, some syncopation, some palm muted, uh, right hand yeah. techniques and stuff like that. But like I said, this is great for lead lines and some essential power chords. So dig into this one. Like I said, it's also available on Fender Play. You want to jam that solo a little bit while we've yeah, got this tone grab, dialed in? Yeah, let's grab that solo section. I'll count us in. Right. One, two, three, four. Last up, for all you advanced players out there, uh, this is the most iconic of, of songs to play for this holiday out here in America. That's our national anthem, uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, this song has a ton of possibilities for guitar players, whether you're trying to do something more like finger style oriented, James Taylor approach. You know, maybe this is better, better suited on one of our like Fender Parlor guitars or something, but I'll give you a little, uh, little taste of what it might be for like on a clean strat. Uh, <laughs> something like that, yeah. we were just picking apart those core melodies and stuff like that. It's, it's a really beautiful song to play yeah. in a dim setting, but in the nature of what Tyler Bryant was doing earlier, we're trying to get you guys to play loud. Can I hear your sort of sure. Hendrixian version of this one? Yeah, man. Cool, break it in. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whew, that's something else. You're making that squire sing. Thanks, man. I yeah, think Hendrix yeah. would be proud. That's really cool. You got a beautiful setup here too, Thanks, especially man, with the whammy. Can you can you show our people what you're doing? Some of the techniques, especially so, for those those tasty moments high up on the neck where you're yeah. kind of bending the pitch using that that bar. Yeah, over. I've always been a huge fan of Jeff Beck's playing. You know, and he's a guy that uh, that always almost always has his tremolo arm just kind of hanging loosely in his hands there. So if you're playing a simple melody. You can add, like, just with a little subtle touch of that whammy bar. Okay. So you don't have to have the heavy hand to make no, use of that. No, not at all. Players who are just kind of integrating the whammy bar into yep. their bridge and into their plane, it's something that can be played with, like, a lighter touch, a sure. finesse, and then eventually some fluidity, yeah? Sure, that's what I tell everybody, is a little bit with that whammy bar goes a long way. No, it really does, because it sounds like you're playing it pretty aggressively, but... But yeah, it's you just, know, it's just, just, right just kind of rocking a little bit. Oh, that's great! Um, that's and so you can kind of bend and 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 slide and 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 sometimes you know you can you can get bent up too. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, because everybody, a lot of folks do a lot of bending up with their strings and their fingers, right? right so have this that replicated through. You there. know, exactly. I just try to I try to go the other direction with the whammy bar. So you can go up to a note, you can come down to a note. It's just like you know, dude, that's, beautiful that's interpretation. Exactly. exactly. You Thank make you. the guitar Thank gods you. proud. Uh, really, really great. Well, guys, this is a great song for lead players out there. There's a lots, lots of jumps over the fretboard, and whether or not you've got a whammy bar, consider yourself a candidate to play around with these melodies. And and sometimes, you know, like Hendrix, like if you're gonna aim big, don't be afraid to miss big. You know, Sebastian did an amazing, tasty interpretation sure, of that. Sure, sure. But, but seriously, take your time. Just just a couple notes at a time go a long way, I think, in, in making this yours. Like I was saying earlier, I was just kind of breaking it down for something a little bit more simplified. Sure. And that's not a bad place to start either. We're just playing in the key of G, but you'll also find, I think that we teach this lesson as well in the key of E maybe. Check it out. Uh, Matt Lake's got a really great tutorial on this one for all you guys who are interested in this. Um, so yeah, so let's get to some homework. We've kind of touched upon this already. For our beginners, you heard Abby play America the Beautiful earlier on the ukulele, but if you want to try that out on your acoustic, your uke, your clean strat or telly or something like that, uh, we want you to show us your rendition of that. Send it in. Uh, for our intermediates, what do they got? Oh, the intermediates? I would love to see you guys play a version of You Can Still Rock in America for us. You know, just take some of those riffs, put them together, make your own version. Obviously, it leans a little bit towards the 80s rock histrionic sort of thing. Yep. But, you know, Wearing you can Wearing the bandana helps. By all means, we'll supply it. Exactly. You <laughs> know, but to say that, I guess. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but you can lean that one in the jazz direction, too, if you want to get crazy. You hey, know, man, do your yours. thing with it, Yeah, no, it, right? that's kind of true. There's a lot to... Lot to pull from that lesson. So, yeah. so at any time you're taking on one of these lessons, make it a point to extract as many techniques and bits of theory that we're making it a point to show you. Uh, if you guys want to blow our minds, show us your most shredded version of the Star Spangled Banner. Oh yeah. Yeah, way to break the ice here for us, man. But seriously, we'd love to see that, guys. So turn it up a notch and send it in to us. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this week's giveaway, man. Why All don't you right. take the reins on this? There we go. This week's winner is, drum roll please. Sean C. Sean C. Give it up. Congrats, Sean. I'm right. Check back next week to see if you won and check the link for giveaway details. Now let's get to uh, a couple of, of shout outs here we've got. We've got Richard Mowry. Now he played last week's homework. We had this great Rolling Stone lesson last week with, uh, with Matt and Andrew. And uh, he played Paint It Black using a looper pedal. And what was great about this is he kind of took over our jobs <laughs> and he explained his process to the community. So thank you for that, man. I hope and I'm, I'm sure it was really helpful for all of our community members on Facebook. Uh, who, who else is out here? We've got David Good, who is a longtime Fender Play user who traded pickups with another community That's member, so cool. Michael Storms. So it's really cool to see, like, outside of just lessons and questions, like people bringing their own things to it and people right. interacting in a real, like, organic way. And, you know, the stuff that I do with my guitar playing friends, it's just One now happening. 100%. Yeah. You know, I always, talk, I always talk about, like, individual students from a teacher's vantage point. The next step is to be as collaborative as you can, uh, as, as, you're, as you're able to even if that just comes down to like swapping gear yeah. or in this instance pickups or uh, uh, you know little, little accessories and stuff like that. That's just really cool guys. That, that's only going to breed more harmony. Um, and then we really want to make it a point to extend our best wishes from all of us here at Fender for Sherry Hoyer wishing you a speedy recovery. Um, we got some updates for you guys. We've got Thunder Kiss 65 from White Zombie. It's now, uh, you're gonna see that on Fender Play, so make it a point to check that out. I'm gonna let you take these next two. All right, All right. the next one, we've got a new tune from Radiohead, just the classic Creep. Um, that's one of my favorite tunes of all time. And then quite possibly my favorite tune of all time. You might recognize this one. <laughs> That's Miserloo by 
Dick Dale. Long live Dick Dale, yeah, man. man. Well, guys, that was really, really fun. We're gonna go ahead and play a little bit more of Rock in America for y'all. Can I get you to stretch just a little bit more? Oh, yeah. And this is this is really just paying homage to our producer Perry, who is now 100% willing to admit for his love, and whatever the antithesis of disdain is, he is he is he is loving every bit of this song. So we're gonna go ahead and jam it just a little yeah, bit more. Man. Go ahead and stretch it out. I'll see right, that intro a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. We hope you guys have an amazing holiday. That was for you, Pear. Uh, keep practicing everything we've got. We're gonna make it a point to see y'all next time, so tune in next week for more. And, uh, and guys, thanks for being a part of our community. It means the world to us. Let's drum that G chord. See y'all.